Hello YouTube, this is Gabe for Zack and Gabe Reviews, and on this beautiful night on February 19th, um, 2012, I will be reviewing the Nova 10s and the 33105s, both by Realistic. Now, I'm going to take the 33105s away for a moment, and solely review the Nova 10s. Now, the Nova 10s are very interesting headphones because they have a very flat tone, meaning there's no real pushing of the highs, mids, or lows. It's all very flat, and it was clearly made in such a way that you can EQ it to whatever you want, um, which is very nice for a studio or any type of recording because... You can make them sound however the hell you want, and they will hold up. They always sound good. They never produce a sound poorly, because they are very well made in that sense. Um, obviously, as you can see from this guy here, they are not for an iPod. They are meant for recording. Or maybe they were meant for listening to a um, you know, record player or power amp or something, but they seem like they were made for recording. Um, they do um, look pretty ridiculous. They're very bulky. Um, almost, actually I would go to say they're as big as the Sony MDRXB 500s. I know I bring these up a lot. That's because they are um, one of my favorite pairs of headphones that I have at the moment. So they will be mentioned. Um, but they're bulky, they look ridiculous, and they feel ridiculous on your head. You know you look like an idiot, and that's okay, though. Um, now, the build quality. Cheapish, very cheap plastic. Like, it feels like it could collapse if I pushed it too hard. Um, padding is mediocre at best. Um, you know. But, you know, it's got metal, plastic, screwed on, as you can see. Rubber which is not something you see very much in headbands anymore. Um, which is unfortunate, because it's a very comfortable headband. But overall, these are very weighed down on your head, and they feel very uncomfortable after wearing for too long. Um, so, you know, I'd give these a 4 or 5 out of 10. They are um, great for recording, and that's about it. I would never use these for listening casually. To music, um, which is what the other realistic headphones, the 33105s, are great for, actually. Um, now, these headphones, right here, I used to bring these into school, and I used to listen to my iPod with these, which was dumb, and can you guess why? It's staring you in the face. Yeah, so I had to use an adapter. In fact, I have one on me right now. I had to use this type of adapter. And if anybody's ever broken their iPhone or iPod Touch before, they'll know that this is dumb, and I was dumb. All right? Now, this weighs down enough on the headphone jack that it actually ex forces it to expand and eventually breaks it to the point where you're touching something with the headphone that you shouldn't be touching and it causes your iPod to skip and also you don't get left. It's very frustrating, especially if you don't have a mono switch on your headphone because you can't hear half your music and you're also, your iPod's also skipping like an annoying... I don't know, record or CD or tape, which is kind of uh, making my iPod obsolete. So I had to go out and buy a new one, all thanks to these guys, but that was me being stupid. Um, what's great about these also on-ear headphones, or over-ear headphones, excuse me, I am tired, it is 11 o'clock, so excuse me, these are around-ear headphones, um, they are comfortable. Now they don't look it. They look like they should be very uncomfortable, but the padding's really soft. I mean, it does get sweaty because it is plastic, like it's pleather, but you don't wear them for that long, or at least I didn't. Um, the wire's very thick, it's not going to break anytime soon, it's very well um, constructed, 
everything aside from the cup is made out of metal and also the pad is not metal it's it's obviously a um, plastic but everything else is a metal band and what's actually very cool about this padding is that you can inflate it now I have not taken that risk because yeah I did find it at my dump which I know sounds ridiculous but I've also gotten some very cool high-tech equipment from the dump including a couple of power amps that were very nice like a Pioneer one that was from 10 years ago that still works beautifully. I have some Kenwood car subwoofers that are magnificent. I've got some Sony surround sound speakers that I had set up in my room that were just marvelous. Bass heavy, but marvelous. Um, so you find some cool s stuff in my dump, and these were one of them. Um, now, sound quality. Mid-rangey. Mid-rangey, mid-rangey, mid-rangey. Mid-rangey, mid-rangey, mid-rangey. Now, I love mid-range a lot. Like, mid-range is my favorite thing about any music ever. Like, if you had to ask me if one thing out of music... Okay, you get the point. Mid-range is good for me. These headphones have too much mid-range. I found myself having to turn on an acoustic EQ. That did work. I found myself having to make custom EQs for it. It, it was just kind of frustrating. But, once I figured it out, so that they sounded just perfect, they sounded just perfect. There was nothing wrong with anything. The mid-range was still a little up, but I like it like that. So, you know, it sounded good for me. Now, if you don't like the mid-range, if you're a fan of bass, neither of these headphones are going to be any good for you, because this was a time when bass was not something people liked as much as mid-range and high-end. So, for listening to your dubstep, bad plan. Now, um, hopefully I've given you enough information about both headphones now, because I'm going to compare them. Now, these are tough to compare, and I'm going to try my best, mainly because these are for recording, and these are for casual listening. They're both very good at what they do. Um, if I had to choose one, though, it'd have to be these. Why, you might ask. Because these are so uncomfortable. After five minutes, it's unfair. And they're nothing special. They're just EQ'd kind of nicely. They sound brilliant, but they're just EQ'd nicely. These, had to mess around with them a bit to get the right sound, but I'd take these over the Novas any day. Now remember, I got these both for free. So I'm not complaining about price. I don't even know how much these are worth. But I would rather have the um, yeah, 33s than the Nova 10s, but that's me. Now, at some point, I'm going to want to do a giveaway where I'm going to give away both of these headphones to each to one lucky patron, and um, keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to give one away, or each away, excuse me, I'm sorry, once again, 11. Um, I'm going to give them both away, and I'm not gonna doing, doing this right now, but it's going to happen, and keep an eye out for that. They are definitely worth emailing me saying you want them to get hold of them. I love these headphones, it's just I don't touch them because I've gotten much more modernized in the recent years. Um, so once again, this is Gabe for Zach and Gabe um, Reviews. Next time I'll be coming at you with a review for my Sony MDR XP 500s, which is an elusive topic that I bring up in all my reviews so far. That is a flashlight, by the way. Um, it's 11 o'clock, and I'm going to bed, so I will see you guys next time. Hopefully we'll be get Zach on for that. Alright, peace out.